Pop squat. Come at you. I think I have all the other videos uploaded already that I've worked on tonight. Um, <coughs> one of them got blocked because of copyright, uh, so that'll show up in a couple of weeks, and I'll include the link <coughs> down below. So I'll always take a look at the descriptions because some videos get a copyright claim against them, and then I have to do a a dispute and they always get cleared um but i actually haven't looked to find out if there's a way for my videos to not be published until the copyright is clear and it's not all that intuitive uh anyway brandon sent me some money uh and i apologize to everybody else because i know i've already posted like three or four videos and uh i kind of been thinking like it gets to a point where there is just too many of these in a day for people to even attempt to keep up with um and hopefully you just pick out the ones that you're really interested in anyway uh but i wanted to do this because i had some time tonight it's 9 30 the album that we're going to listen to is e by echo 2k and i've heard a number of tracks featuring echo 2k but i don't think i've actually read his bio which is weird so I don't know if I've listened to any specifically Echo 2K songs, um, but this album will solve that for me. Um, so Echo 2K is Zach, ooh, Aero, Aerogundade, Aerogundade. I'm not sure exactly how that's pronounced. Uh, Gatrude. That's a neat name, Gatrude. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to remember that name, too. Uh, better known by a stage name, Echo 2K is a British-Swedish singer, designer, mo Oh, God, just freaking die. Uh, sorry, was that out loud? Is a British-Swedish British singer, designer, model, director, and member of Drain Gang from Hornstall, Stockholm. Uh, known for his experimental and innovative songwriting as well as his androgynous voc vocal style. That's interesting. Uh, he has also been celebrated for his directorial and design endeavors in the brand Itis? E Y T Y S? Itis? I ties? That can't be I ties. Uh, as well as for his own product line, Gloss. Lowercase g apostrophe loss. Uh, let's see. He is 27 years old, from uh, born in London, England. Genres are pop, cloud rap, experimental pop, ambient pop. Oh, cloud rap, but he is not considered hip hop. Hmm. Maybe it's hip pop. <laughs> uh, occupation, director, designer, singer, music producer, photographer. Shut up. Instruments, vocals, digital audio, workstation, and guitar. Years active, 2012 to present. Um, personal life, his father is Ben Aragundade, a British-Nigerian writer and designer. His mother is a Swedish makeup artist. Uh, Aragundade was born in London and grew up in the Hornstall neighborhood of Stockholm from the age of two. Okay, so he's pretty much from Stockholm. Um, I, well, we don't need to go into the rest of this. Uh, Echo 2K, the album E... Uh, the first song is AAA Powerline, and the album came out in 2019. I have the lyrics over here along with the track list. So let's jump into this, and uh, hopefully you got some time to listen. I don't know what this is going to be like, but I bet it's going to be good. Oh yeah. Love drums. I'm 
exact same lyrics performance repeated for a minute and a half minute and 37 seconds well he didn't sing that whole time why do that is that to give us a sense of the, the not it's not really a sense of nausea it doesn't like because so he sings about nausea right crushing rocks with oyster card oyster card is what you used to like ride i think like the the underground and things like that I, I think in london i've never been to london uh so nauseous can't sleep it off backseat of some car zip tied up can't move my arms and he just repeats that over and over and over and over and over and over and over and, over. and it, is that supposed to and and the beat is very consistent it sounds very cool i love the beat um is that supposed to give us a feeling of like just sort of being stuck in this the back seat of this car and not feeling like I don't know I don't know the answer to that question that I feel is obviously being asked by having it be that same thing over and over and over I I don't know the reason so now we're going to move into the bridge I backed up a little bit so And now this is it's labeled the bridge here this this section every line does change will I ever be whole again zip tied up can't move my arm so that's a repeat right so then it sort of sets up the expectation for us that we're gonna get that line over and over and over again or these two lines over and over and over again even but then the next line is not will I ever be whole again it's will I ever be home again and then the next line is no iris black star and cross that is where the zip tie can't move my arm should be the next line is will I ever be whole again so he repeats from just to above skin so soft covered in gloss gotta throw in his own brand there and make some money uh, he can write this whole thing off now as a marketing expense <laughs> and then the next line will I ever be home again so he repeats again the second change first line uh, power line I I hold the charge. Power line, I hold the charge. Will I ever be home again? Power line, I hold the charge. Yeah, more questions than answers for me on this, and that's fine. It sounds cool. this is like a meditation on frustration it, it's like uh because we're not getting anywhere right it, it he's stuck in a loop he's just there he's just there he's just there will i ever get home again will i ever be whole again like it, 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 the song is completely unsatisfying right because it's just so repetitive and yet it just kind of hypnotizes you as you listen to it because it does sound good and the words are the same over and over and over. I mean, it's it's actually, it's kind of funny, uh, just the way it's all put together. And it, I think it's a really, I, again, kind of a brave choice to do as the first song on an album. And this is what you're, 
using to set expectations for the whole rest of the album, right? Like, you're going to get more of this sort of thing, is what he's saying by putting this first. <laughs> it's, it's cool. <laughs> Just stuck there with him. So I don't even remember the name of this. Powerline, AAA Powerline. Uh, the next song is Peroxide, and I don't know if I mentioned the album is from 2019. Pronounce, uh, pronounce. Uh, this song was produced by Gud. I believe it is Gud. Uh, Peroxide. I have lyrics. Wherever I have an ad. Whatever. Yeah, I really need to get an ad blocker and screw this whole thing. To hell and back. Uh, let's go there, maybe? Peroxide, once again. Sounds like a movie soundtrack to me, or movie noise. Blade Runner. Totally Blade Runner. about it is it sounds like and I, and I could be totally wrong right but what it sounds like to me is it sounds like music that would be popular with people in their teens and 20s because it sounds super cool and yet it sounds so different than pretty much anything out there because it, it almost has the idea that came into my head when there were these like comments, um, like other people coming in and saying things, uh, let's see, in between the, the verses here, I'll back up some more, uh, things like, oh my god, fuck you, what, what the fuck are you looking at, trust, trust, trust me, it gets so much worse, like it's all these things that almost seems like, it's it, it almost seems like somebody, like, posting social media commentary within the song, right? Like, that's... Because it's not necessarily connected, it's just, like, somebody throwing something in that they wanted to say. It's... it's... it sounds cool. I guess I backed up to no lyrics. Everywhere I go, they look at me wrong. Everything 
I'm sorry. I kind of got distracted by rereading some of the previous section. That's, that was also sort of like one of those kind of breaks in consciousness things, right? Like, so we had the chorus here that ends with chop off your body parts, chop, 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 chop off his arm and take his watch. And then there's this long section of music or, or <clears throat> where it kind of dies away and there's nothing. And then it slowly starts to build back up here. It actually kind of quickly starts to build back up. But... Um, really kind of interesting. He's got some neat stuff going on here. That's also a really weird one, uh, and I mean, why not follow up that first song with something that is also weird and a little repetitive, but he does seem to have more to say here, and I kind of revised my opinion about the, uh, the social media comment, like social media stuff being thrown in. Why is my computer slow? Okay, maybe it's not. Um, but it's... Uh, I think it's more his thoughts. So he's saying things like, <clears throat> uh, where did it go? He's saying things like, they stare at me, I don't care at all, but then inside he's thinking, oh my god, fuck you, like, why are you staring at me? And then the same, like, the other stanzas too, they have the there's couplets, uh, the same sort of thing. Um, I love the sound of that song. Again, it, it's not super open, or super solid in terms of what interpretation is other than it's some of what he's thinking maybe uh the next song is fragile probably actually just fragile do 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 oh interesting so that 
So that was the I'm not afraid of anything true friend is she'll say next that was repeated in the previous song. <laughs> At the end there's some, um, I assume, Swedish, uh, so I'm going to try and open up a Google Translate here. And uh, kitten, what are you doing? No, that's what I wanted, translate. I don't know why it didn't let me do that. Uh, please wake up, wake up, wake up, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, follow the light, follow the light, follow the light, follow the light. So that was the last paragraph that was actually in, yes, Swedish is correct. Um, so this is also a really interesting song because I, I kind of was at first thinking, because some of the lyrics, wake up happy, wash my face in acid. I'm glassy shattered, wrapped in bu bubble plastic. I'm fragile, wash my hands in gasoline. Matches and kerosene, please handle me carefully, damage me. Sparkly, I'm glossed over. Come here, yeah, come over. I can tell that sounds broken. <laughs> stop, smell the roses. I see things in stop motion. Skin, bone, and sun lotion. Skin tone like diet cola. So cold. Vodka soda. I lost control of it. Ziploc of rat poison. So when I'm listening to this the first time and reading through it, I'm thinking, oh, this is like a... It's like a... One of those old surreal Beck songs like loser that has a lot of random words and things in it that just sort of are interest sound interesting together you know uh life uh, what is what is the termite there's all sorts of different songs there are different words in there that it just don't make any sense but then i realized i think what he's talking about because the song is called fragile right I think what he's sort of talking about is 
either his experiences of just waking up and living in the world he washes it fa his face and it doesn't feel like acid but it may as well because he's gonna have to go out into the world and deal with people and and or it is a, sort of a him talking about like dealing with anxiety or panic attacks and things like that my heart racing it stops and starts breaks apart and paints the wall where did this pain come from break the wall break the laws and sell the cause break my chains i change my life so that i mean it sounds kind of like panic attacky to me um and then you know the very last paragraph was wake up breathe in breathe out follow the light and kind of makes me think of depression and trying to get out of it not depression like anxiety and, and panic attacks and trying to get out of it but uh also a really good song i like the kind of i like the beckness of it the fact that it has sort of these lyrics that are just like what are you talking about washing your face with acid and why why aren't you going back you stupid piece of garbage there we go uh so uh i i like that song too uh, the next song is super short, uh, Bliss Fields. It looks like it's not long at all, so it says there's some lyrics. Uh, what does this say? Short monologue placed in the middle of E was a part of the music video Fruit Bleed Juice as the intro. So it looks like this is very short, and then that will be followed up by, my guess, <gasps> Fruit Bleed Juice. Uh, I am correct. So I will probably just let these both play one right into the other as we go right now. I feel like I'm flying and sinking at the same time. Like I'm being pulled from below and from above. In every direction at once. Okay, if he ever decides to get out of um, music, he should just become like an NPR uh, on-air personality with that voice because it sounds exactly like <laughs> somebody who would be like on uh, one of their science shows, Jad Ebumbrod, and that's the... Uh, anyway, Fruit Bleed Juice. <coughs> So I'm not sure if you heard that, but right there in the beginning they did the I'm Not Afraid of Anything and True Friend again, which has now been in almost all of the songs. sweet like juice sweet like juice it's sweet like juice it's nothing special it's sweet like juice it tastes like nectar it's sweet like juice i want the sweetest juice i drink from you uh i don't think it's a sex thing right i don't think he's talking about going down on his gal or guy um i don't know it it's I don't know what he's trying to communicate. It's very pretty. I, li I like it. I would absolutely listen to both of those tracks again just because they're good. Uh, the next song is CC. And I have some lyrics over here. Let's go. No. 
never know what the sound is gonna be. Kind of off kilter. Maybe slightly spooky. this song is about and I still may be completely wrong but the name of it I don't understand one of the more experimental songs from E CC was uploaded as a snippet to God's Instagram account in 2019 what are you trying to tell me uh, with no context when someone put the snippet into Shazam an app which allows you to find blah 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 a few days before the release of E it showed up with the title CC okay so I it didn't even have a name when they first talked about it, uh, or they first released it. So th what I kind of think this is, is him just saying I can, I can change the rules. I mean that's the first line. He repeats it three times. Let's so let's do this. I can I can can can. So let's do this. He's basically saying like I can, I can make my music any way I want to, and that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm just gonna droplets meet the surface turn to circles into circles energy is eternal one with the earth universal energy is eternal break the chain break change the lock piece chain break the chain change the lock, uh change the knot piece break the chain change the rule change i can let's do it yeah he's just saying like i can i can i can make this music sound like anything i can do whatever i want and that's kind of cool. I mean, that's the way I sort of interpret it, right? And it doesn't sound like anything that we've ever really heard before. It's got all sorts of crazy stuff going on that I think sounds really, really cool. And, and I know sometimes people think I have a very strange uh, sense of music or musical taste. But uh, I think it sounded really neat. Come on, what is the problem, computer? Sorry, I'm very frustrated because it's not going back when I hit back. Um, <clears throat> I think that's a really neat sound of song. Uh, we're about halfway through, and the next song is Calcium. Looks like it was pretty popular. Think of that for someone, oh, what's going on? I'm so covered in dry clothes, and I can take it off. And it's just me and myself, just the two of us. Spend some time alone with you now, you're my young I got a day for you, a day for you. The 
This song is okay, but this is ruining it for me. The, the just the rep repetition of this over and over and over is just it's too much. It would it would it it would be a low point in the record for me if I were listening or the album for me if I were listening to it just on my own. And this was going on, I would very likely just go, oh, well, screw this. Which is too bad because um, I I think it's it's actually a decent song. I mean, there are probably fifty fifty chance I skip over it or I. I listen to the whole thing um but but it's it, it's from what i'm picking up out of the lyrics it kind of sounds like he's saying um like i want like i'm in love with you but i am messed up do not take me back like that i'm fragile again i need calcium my bones are breaking like i'm not i'm not good and um yeah but that just these lyrics, kiss my nose, kiss my nose. It just it does nothing for me. Ah, oh, and this is one of the songs with the most uh, listens or views, the lyric views. and diesel is next. Thank you. 
some of these lyrics <laughs> no one goes to heaven uh oh that's embarrassing oops no something happened someone please call an ambulance <laughs> and there were some earlier that were also pretty funny and it's it's kind of a it's kind of a pretty song even though the lyrics are a little crazy i mean he, he really purposely tries to have some crazy ways of of constructing his sentences to get some kind of information across that's really I mean in some cases it's specifically not good like break break the skin up and peel it uh, but he's in theory he's talking about fruit uh, forbidden fruit want to reach for it squeeze the juice and bleed it break break the skin and peel it I'm someone else around people please don't make me do anything do something evil so I uh, lick my lips and eat it we don't mix together sugar and diesel. And so he's just saying, like, we're, we are not a good mix. This is not a good thing. And it sounds really cool. <laughs> song is don't ask that's the name i'm not saying don't ask <laughs> so funny very sort of little kid toy piano sound going on there Syncopated, dung, 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 like just so good in the background. Love it, and his voice is amazing.
ended with it tears apart and paints the walls, and I'm pretty sure that's a callback to the lyrics in the first or second song. Um, and, and the song is basically about, you know, it's called Don't Ask, but it's it doesn't really say don't ask. It says, won't you ask? Won't you ask to make someone to hold my heart and it's all going to fall apart anyway, so... Uh, there's all that, but I want to check to see, was that in Powerline, where, uh, something about, no, <laughs> it probably wasn't about in, in Powerline, um, what was the lyric I just said, darn it, oh, Paint the Walls, nope, not on that song, was it in Peroxide? Am I a crazy person? Fragile. I bet it wasn't fragile. Yep, there is one mention. Yep. Breaks apart and paints the walls. So that was in fragile. So either he's making a callback to to one of these, who knows which one was written first, or he really just liked that turn of phrase and decided to use it again, both of which are perfectly fine. Um, but kind of interesting, because it did stand out to me. Uh, let's see here, that was, I forget, uh, don't ask, next is Security. Produced by, oh, I haven't been doing this the whole time, but this is produced by Gud and Mechatalk. I'm talk to the walls, I hear them sing loud. Falling backwards into the dark, I hear the voices talk so loud. Carry me softly, pull me down, I shut my eyes, cover my mouth, tell me how. Something so beautiful can taste so far, so far. Something beautiful can taste so far. definitely makes music that I just absolutely love like it's not really syncopated in this case but the, just that did, 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 and it just sounds super cool um, still not sure exactly what he's talking about it almost seems like he's yelling for someone to get security because he just sort of throws that out there that I thought the song was gonna be much more about whoever he was talking about in the first paragraph how something so beautiful can taste so foul something beautiful can uh, taste so foul so look around something beautiful can seem so worthless 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 security is he talking about security that that security is i don't think so i, th I think it sounds like he's like yelling for security like somebody come help me i don't feel safe with this person and then the second paragraph is all about like oh you're beautiful and perfect and perfect everything's great and i want to be perfect you make it look so perfect security <laughs> i but i don't know i don't know I'm breaking on myself now Every time I close my eyes I see the corpses Every time I look in the mirror I see what I say It's like 2 a.m. to 6 in the morning I can hear my thoughts So in the stream of water Every time I look in the mirror I feel nauseous Every time I look in the mirror I see my stairs Would you ask if you had one wish? If you could choose only one thing to fix If you had the chance Would you choose something? You could lose yourself Would you take that risk? Oh, if you ask if you had one wish If you could choose only one thing to fix if 
you had one wish, what would you wish for? If you had one chance, would you change something worthless security? Maybe he is talking about security. <laughs> because it comes so late in the album but maybe this is him even being more experimental than usual like pushing out of his comfort zone and doing something very different but at the same time I can see how the music and the lyrics themselves even reinforce the idea of what this song is about which is time right it starts off it kind of seems almost like time passing because it's the same thing kind of over and over happening in the music and then the lyrics come in and it's absolutely hard one two three four the clock don't stop right like those are the four words and they do it over and over and over and it's just keeping time it's kind of cool it's kind of cool but very different style from what we've been hearing <coughs> I started over. See? Almost like a phone alarm or something. Time passing by. mentioned gods a few times but this was kind of funny the will is lost i will kiss the gods i kill my gods and play gods of <laughs> god of war exactly I mean sorry I'm thinking things and not saying them out loud uh, it, it, the song is basically just saying like don't waste your time get up stand up get to work go do something the clock doesn't stop 
keep doing things. Just go. Do, do, do stuff. Go do stuff. The more I want, the more loses all. I, that's a weird line. The will is lost, I will kiss gods. Uh, I wish, I fall, I sink through the floor, unless I lost. That's, that's a very Beck line to me. I wish, I fall. Oh, that's because it reminds me of one of his songs. Uh, the days go slow. I, I love that song. Um, earthquake weather? Something like that? Um, no. Pieces, missing pieces, replacement. I don't know. I, it was. It's a fantastic song. Um, yeah, we go go do stuff. The clock doesn't stop. Hey, wake up. Stand up. Go do stuff. That's what he's saying. And, and maybe he's just do it, saying it for himself. Uh, okay, this is a little weird because I see I only have one song left called Blue Eyes, but then there is a Life After Life bonus track that is not on the genius site for this uh for the lyrics so let's listen to blue eyes which would be the final album but then there is a hidden track or whatever the hell they call it bonus track blue eyes <laughs> Why sing it like that? That's the first thing that comes into my head. You would think blue skies would be beautiful. Blue skies, like, oh, it's gorgeous. And no, he's like, his voice is cracked. Like, why do it that way? Why, why set it up like that? And then the song itself is called Blue Eyes, but then he starts singing Blue Skies. We are not going to get what we're expecting out of this song. Blue skies, blue skies. Not pleasant at all. a super weird song too is he saying like all of my friends are like they're all the same they they don't there's nothing different like well, i don't want to be this guy's friend because i also have blue eyes and germanic descent i yeah it sounds like he's all my friends have blue eyes all my friends have blue eyes like is that supposed to mean something else or are we supposed to take it literally is it just everybody else thinks like i do or quote unquote looks like i do and i'm I'm looking for something different, or that's frustrating to me because the song obviously has a lot of frustration, and, and well, frustration is right, not really anger, just sort of like, ah, why am I in this? Whoa, what a weird song. Super creative guy. Like, if this were the end of the album, he's... He's another one of those people who will make music forever because that's just what he does. He's going to be somebody like Beck. He's going to be, and I don't know why I'm bringing up Beck so much, but it's just because some of his music has really reminded me of that. And Beck went through phases where he was incredibly popular and then just really not popular, even though a lot of his music was very, very similar. And then he did super experimental things like... Uh, Oh, what is the album Sea uh, Change, I think. And it, it, ah, it's just, it's really interesting. And I can see this guy going very much in the same direction. I would, I would put Thomas Dolby into that same kind of category. Like, he was super popular. 
maybe one hit wonderish. I like his stuff a lot, so I would say he's not, but it's that sort of thing that he's just going to keep making music because that's how he that's how he that's what he does. That's just what he does is he makes music and obviously 700 million other things because he's a Nobel Prize winning 12-year-old. Um Last song was the bonus track of Life After Life. Let's go. That was neat. Oh, that was the end of the last song. Now, very pleasant. and phrases and things in this in this song in particular like he calls back over a bunch of the different songs on this on this album pretty song uh, the lyrics weren't there for this but um, I it's a good song and like I said it's interesting that it calls back over so many other parts of this album and it's I mean it's called life after life so maybe it's like him making some sort of statement about like this is all the past right the stuff that was in this album is all what's happened already and now this is starting something new um i don't know that kind of makes some sense to me i could absolutely see that and i kind of like the idea of it but i don't know um and like i said i didn't have the lyrics in front of me uh yeah super good stuff now i can download this and can't wait to hear some of the songs come up on random and there are one or two that i think i'm gonna skip over that are just too repetitive and like too much of the same thing that don't sound cool enough for me to keep listening to but, man, uh, if there was, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen songs on this, and two are super short, there's probably two songs that I would just be like, oh, no, I don't want to hear this. And that's, and that would probably be after I listened to most of them anyway. So, uh, really, really, I mean, for an album, that's a fantastic rate. For me, uh, that's that's a good album. I absolutely, for sure. Uh, darn it! I just looked. Brandon, thank you once again. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share. Information down below if you wanna give me money treats. I get, where's my fingers? Jesus, Christmas! Oh, there, right. Uh, Pop squat. Checking out. Done for the night. See you tomorrow. Adios. Bye bye.